seriously screaming internally at the, like the thought of this video actually happening right now because I've been planning it for so long and I'm so excited but I'm also really scared that it's not gonna turn out how I want I normally don't get like anxiety over my videos but this one has been taking the cake what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi how you doing my name is Abby Aslan and I am a lifestyle and college youtuber I am 21, about to be a senior at the University of Alabama, and I am in Dallas right now currently, and I'm just doing YouTube full-time this summer. And today's video is so exciting because I've been planning it for so long, and I haven't seen one of these on YouTube before, and I feel really good about videos whenever I haven't seen them on YouTube before, and they're something that I'm like just doing out of pure creativity myself, but I'm also really stressed that it's not going to turn out how I want it to be. But, besides the point, I'm going to be doing a fitness master list for you guys, um, kind of just sharing my favorite products, supplements, um, compliments to working out and everything. Um, I have been really prioritizing my health and fitness and just my overall just strength this summer because it's the only time I've ever really had time to put as much focus on it as I ever have in my life really besides when I like did gymnastics and worked out like insanely all the time. But I just have really been enjoying prioritizing my health and fitness. Um, I have been trying out so many different new products this summer as far as like supplements go. And I've gotten like tons of new different like workout clothes recently. And I've just like really been stepping outside of my comfort zone with working out and fitness in general. And I want to share everything with you guys that I think I love for my everyday workouts that I use with my everyday workout. Things that really have made my whole workout experience better. Before we get started, definitely follow me on social media down below if you aren't already. It is all always linked down below. I have literally everything down there. And subscribe if you aren't already so you can stick around and see more content in the future. I want to start off with like my favorite gym bag. I've had a few, but I kind of stopped using them for a while. And I got this one from Fabletics from, through a sponsored video and I've never been happier with the product. Um, it is just this really sleek black two pouch bag, has cup holders on both sides. It's like a cute little mini backpack, adjustable straps, and it just holds everything perfectly. I normally take like two different water bottles to the gym and everything, um, and I always have stuff in here, so I don't know. It's just really great. I will have everything linked down below, and it's just the perfect size, so it's not too big, not too small, and I love that I like exclusively use it for the gym. Next up, as far as shoe go shoes go, I'm not very picky with shoes for the gym, just because I don't even like have that many pairs of shoes compared to the average girl, I feel like. I wear the same shoes all the time. These are Nike Odyssey Reacts. I don't think they sell them anymore, like in this exact style and color, but they do have Odyssey React shoes, I believe. I'll try and link some down below. My boyfriend got these for me for Christmas, I think. Maybe my birthday, maybe Valentine's Day. It's all running together in my head. Um, these are just great, really, really lightweight shoes. Um, when I do legs, I still usually end up wearing these, to be honest, when I should probably just be wearing like my Converse or something, um, which I do have a pair of Converse that I can wear to the gym. These are just really good because if I decided to do cardio one day at the gym, these are fine, and they're also just really good, stable, lightweight, supportive shoes to wear to the gym. As far as apparel goes, okay, so for lifting, my favorite sports bra, um, I really love the Lululemon Power Y bras. They have like just literally a Y design in the back. I think I have three or four of these sports bras. This one's like a yellow color. They have a ton of colors. They have removable pads. Um, if you are larger chested, you probably wouldn't like this as much, but if you're not doing any cardio, I don't really think it matters. Like that's why I said for lifting, this is my favorite. Um, but they're just really, really comfy, a super soft material. The band is not like too restrictive at all. And this is a size six, I believe. I think I have one that's a four and it's just, it's too small and I shouldn't have gotten a four in it. But I really like the Power Eye bras for lifting. I know the trend right now and like what's popular is to wear sports bras and leggings to the gym. I haven't really gotten fully comfortable with that. If it's long enough, I will, but there's just some nasty men who like make comments and stuff even when I'm like wearing a regular tank top and leggings so I like can't even imagine what it would be like if I were wearing a full-on sports bra but granted that's at my gym here in Dallas that I'm going to I'm just going to my apartment gym so whatever thankfully my boyfriend's with me though when I'm working out so I don't feel as scared I really love this sports bra for like cardio and like spin class I will wear this one by itself um, to a spin class. I never really wear sports bras and leggings to the actual gym, but to like a cycle bar class, which I have a cycle bar membership this summer just for like this month, um, just because I've been really enjoying it. This is the Ella sports bra from Fabletics. It's this beautiful pink color. It's higher neck, which I like, so you know, you're not like spilling out of your bra or anything, and it's just very comfy and very supportive in my opinion. Once again, has removable pads, really cute back design, and this one works really well with like high-waisted leggings um, if you just wanted to wear this to the gym. 
I really like wearing um, long sleeve crop tops that are very fitted and seamless like from Gymshark or Fabletics. I didn't bring them out here with me just because it's not in season like to have the long sleeve ones, long sleeve ones just because it's so hot outside. But I do really like wearing those to the gym when it's a little bit cooler um, with leggings uh, and I just really like the whole look of the long sleeve seamless crop top with high waisted leggings. I think that's more conservative than just wearing a straight up sports bra. I just physically like can't do it yet. Like I'm not there. I just, I'm scared honestly. If I were to wear this to the gym with high waisted leggings, I would be like, I, I feel, I just feel like all eyes are on me and I don't like that. I really love this Gymshark sports bra. I'll leave a link down below. I know they don't have this color anymore. The only thing I don't like is this doesn't have pads in it and it is thin. So I mean like if you're even slightly cold, like your nips are gonna show through. So I really, really love this, um, the back of it. This is definitely a longer one as you can tell. This with like some fabletics high-waisted leggings pretty much covers you up and you feel like you're in the sports bra thing so it's very comfortable. And I love wearing this to spin too um, just cause tank tops kind of get in the way during spin. So I really like wearing like long sports bras for that. I'm gonna show you guys a couple pair of leggings just so you guys have options as far as price points and styles go. So I've only tried out one kind of Gymshark leggings and it's the Vital Seamless. I have this pair and then I have the bright pink pair. I really like Vital Seamless leggings. I wear a size small and I'm usually like a four or a six in pants for reference, but they are just, I love the fun colors and they're just really comfy and I just really, really like them. Like they hold me together and they're high-waisted and they're good in between for like price point wise. They're not too expensive, but they're also not like a crappy cheap pair of leggings. Next up are Fabletics high-waisted seamless leggings. I love their seamless, seamless leggings. Very comparable, but not as compressive as the Gymshark ones, but um, you can't compare them to them. These are a little bit, these kind of just like form to your body and they're not necessarily gonna be compressive like the Gymshark material is. But I have like this dark gray pair, they're inside out right now, so ignore the color difference. But these have like mesh on the bottom and then I have a plain dark gray pair. Um, and these are just very comfy. I love them for leg day because they go so high up. Like they literally go to the, like almost the bottom of my sports bra pretty much, which I love. So it like holds up my whole stomach and hip region in and they're just really, they really allow me to move if that makes sense, like on leg day and stuff. Next up, Fabletics. Uh, I forgot what these are called. They're just like the high-waisted 7-8. I want to say they're power hold, but that might not be the name of them and I'll leave them linked down below. But these are just the plain black 7-8 length ones. These are so good, very compressive, a little bit thicker of a fabric, but they're still so amazing um, for going to the gym or doing cycle bar. And then as far as like lifting and cycle bar goes, my favorites are probably Lululemon Fast and Free, which I have a plain black pair as well, but they're dirty. This is just like a pattern pair I have. They're very thin um, and they do have a seam on the waistband, which I don't love, like at the top of the waistband but um, they have pockets on the side so you can stick your phone in them. So I really like them for lifting for that reason too. And they're just very thin so you can breathe. So I really like them for that reason, but I wish they were a little bit more high-waisted like the Gymshark or the Fabletics ones. And then I really love Lululemon Wonder Under Luxe Stream Leggings, but I find myself saving this pair to wear like during the week when I'm running errands or going to class or something instead of working out just because I really like them for day-to-day -day wear. But they're still a really good option for everything else. And then if you're wondering what underwear I wear with like the seamless leggings and stuff, because I know that it like shows through, I, their Target sells a bunch of like seamless underwear that doesn't have anything on them. Victoria's Secret does, Aerie does. Um, those are the three places I pretty much only buy underwear from. So you can get any of those there. As far as my favorite like bottle goes, I use this blender bottle. I got it off Amazon. I love the frosted white color just because it matches everything and it's just beautiful. I need to order more of blender bottles because I literally use it for pre-workout, my protein and any other like crystal light type thing I'm doing, which I never really do that, but if I do, blender bottles are ideal for it. So I got this one off Amazon. You can get little baby ones, you can get the big ones, but Amazon pretty much has every color in the world, so does GNC. It's a good investment. I didn't have it for the longest time, but once I started using supplements, I needed it. The only thing I don't like about the frosted white color is it's really hard to read like this measurement increments for like how much water or milk you have in here because I just, it's so hard. I have to hold it up in a certain light and that's the only thing I don't like about that color. Okay, if the angle's different, I just had to like delete some stuff off my SD card, so sorry. Okay, so next up is just my general water bottle for the gym. I do have a Hydro Flask, but I mainly just use that for like going to class or chilling at home. Hydro Flasks are just so large and loud and just inconvenient for the gym, to be honest. I have this Lululemon, uh, like little cycling type of water bottle. 
Um, you can get these from like Target with like Camelback or anything like that. You don't have to get a Lululemon one. But I'll leave a link down below. I know they have other really cute patterns. I love taking this to Cycle Bar and I love using this in the gym, just filling it up with my water. Um, and you can also use this as like a shaker bottle. If you just hold the top and shake it, it's fine. I use it for my BCAAs all the time. Um, but it's just a really good water bottle for the gym. You don't need a hydro flask in the gym. It just wouldn't even fit in my gym bag pockets and this does. So I just really like this and I like keeping them separate because I feel like taking the hydro flask in the gym gets like really dirty and gross. So yeah. Next up, I'm going to do my favorite like protein bar. I don't always eat protein bars um, and I haven't always, but these are what I ate when I actually had a trainer for volleyball. I would always eat these after school and before I went to my training and volleyball practice. These are the Power Crunch bars. You can get them in, off Amazon in like a variety pack or in bulk or um, you can get them at Target, GNC, Smoothie King, whatever. My favorite flavors are the Wild Berry Cream, French Vanilla Cream, and Cookies and Cream. I don't love the chocolate one and I don't love the peanut butter one. They're a little bit too much for me and taste a little bit too weird, but they're pretty much just like a coated wafer. Um, so if you don't like that, the powderiness of like wafers, don't get this, but it's not like eating like a block of just protein powder like a lot of protein bars are. These just taste really good. They're kind of sweet, but the nutrition facts are good on them. There's only five grams of sugar. So these have 14 grams of protein and five grams of sugar. Um, Too much sugar! <laughs> he sounds like you guys in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is definitely more of like a processed protein bar. If I eat these before a workout, I feel a lot better. And I know that protein's more of like a post-workout thing, but um, I usually just eat one of these before I work out just to fill my stomach up a little bit so I don't fall over. Or if I do like an early morning workout instead of eating a full breakfast before, because I do eat like a full breakfast every day, I'll eat one of these if I did like a 5.30 or 6.30 like early morning class. For BCAAs, I just started using them in April and I just finished up this thing a couple weeks ago. Um, this is the Alani New BCAA and Sour Gummy and it's Really an amazing flavored product. All of the line of news products are so good with flavors like they're on point with the <laughs> description and everything. This really tastes like a pink and blue sour gummy worm. I love the taste. BCAAs are meant to be drank like with um, like during your workout with water and then or after your workout and it's pretty much just supposed to help with like muscle recovery and soreness and hydration and endurance for your muscles and um, honestly, I, I don't know how well this worked. So I have been contemplating repurchasing just because it's expensive to like use supplements with your workouts and I literally just started doing all of this stuff. I used to use like no pre-workout, no BCAAs, none of that um, pretty much since like April, this past April and it's July right now before. So I recently just started using them just because I just feel like it has just made my workout so much better. But anyways, BCAAs, I don't really know if these helped me. Looking back, I did not get sore that many times um, when I would use these and drink this during my workout. There were times when I still would be sore, but it was usually if, you know, I was doing more reps or using more weight. So, like, naturally, I would hope I would be sore from that. But um, a lot of times, like I, like, I don't know, when I don't use them, I'm sore pretty much every time I work out. So, now that I think about it, these were working because I haven't been using these the past, like, week and a half or two weeks since I'm out of it and I think I've been sore after every workout. So now that I think about it, they do work and I just didn't think they did while I was using it because it was just, I just didn't think about it. So overall, I do think they work. It's just, I don't know, it's probably a person to person type of thing and they have tons of amazing flavors. You can get the sample packets for 99 cents online only. If you want a new website, but you can find like these bottles either on that website or in GNC. Next up for pre-workout, oh my gosh, pre-workout has changed the game for me. Um, it's dangerous if you like have a lot of caffeine already during the day because this is 200 milligrams of caffeine for this one, which I know is on the lower end of pre-workouts. I've only tried one other pre-workout and I don't know the name of it, um, but I didn't like it because it made me tingly and it was just too much. I feel like no tingles with this workout. I don't feel my heart racing. I don't feel anxious. It just seriously makes me so focused during my workout and it's probably like partially a mind thing and it's also just I think that caffeine just kind of makes you more focused and energized for your workout. You take it 20 minutes before you work out with water. I have the flavor cotton candy grape. Um, it definitely just tastes like more of like a grape flavor. It's not necessarily like a cotton candy flavor. Um, but I have tried the rainbow candy and that tastes just like pink Pez to me. Like if you've ever had the little Pez candy, the pink flavor of the Pez, that's exactly what rainbow candy tastes like. 
Um, and then I've tried um, Hawaiian Shaved Ice as well, and that's a more subtle and not a sweet flavor because the rainbow candy was very sweet. And a Hawaiian Shaved Ice kind of just tasted like a blue coconut type of snow cone to me, to be honest. So I'm gonna order the Aloha Pineapple off the Alani New website. Um, just because I wanted to get this one in store in person and GNC only sells certain flavors in store So so now I've got my favorite protein. Um, this is the Alani new whey protein Sorry with the Alani new stuff. I just can't help it But this is the whey protein in confetti cake and I absolutely love 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 this protein to death I used to just use like vanilla plant-based proteins and I would just get like a $25 one from Target that I liked a lot. And don't get me wrong, I do love those and I would just mix them with like fruit and an almond milk, like some frozen fruit. But it's expensive to like keep buying frozen fruit and I figured, you know, like if I got like a flavor like this, obviously I'm not going to need to mix a ton of fruit with like a confetti cake flavor. Um, you can take this with almond milk or water. I normally do like half unsweetened vanilla almond milk and half water or I'll do just water. Um, and you, this has 23 grams of uh, protein and one gram of sugar and 110 calories. Um, it's really amazing. It tastes just like birthday cake. I tried the Bomar Nutrition birthday cake one and it had like the same idea with like the sprinkles inside and everything just like the Salani new one has. And the Bomar one tasted really amazing too. Um, it was probably a little bit sweeter than this one I would say but it really messed up my stomach for some reason and um, it was really expensive. This was like $40 I think for this whole thing and it has 30 servings and I got a 16 serving one for like 35 from Bomar. But this one was just, this one has not messed me up in my stomach or anything and I just really, really like it and they have tons of other amazing flavors on the website. As far as headphones go, I do have the, I should have grabbed them, but I don't know where they're at right now. The over the ear like Beats Studio wireless headphones that have like the one little cord that connects the two headphones are really great for working out and are a cheaper alternative to like getting like the over the ear Beats Studio um, headphones or AirPods or something. That's what I like, used to use all the time for working out. Uh, and my boyfriend had gotten them for me and they're really great, great sound quality. They stayed in my ears um, and they were comfortable, but I got AirPods for my birthday and they have changed the game. They're just so much easier with working out because you can just pop them in and pop them out real quick. Like if someone's talking to you, you can just tap them and they turn off and they're just amazing and they aren't as in my way as my Beat Studio ones were. Even though they were wireless, that one cord, if I was ever doing squats or something or had the bar on my back, it would get in the way of the bar and it would just like hurt because it would dig in or it would get caught in my no. hair. And AirPods, I don't have to worry about that. So I highly recommend AirPods, honestly, they are, an investment but I literally could not live without mine now I swear as far as like apps go I don't really use any workout apps or programs or anything I never have I pretty much just follow Instagram workouts that I find on like influencer pages or I just use things I know like that I've just been doing for so long um, I know you guys really want me to do like a workout with me type of video but I just haven't worked up the like courage to do that in the gym and a lot of the gyms I go to I can't film in so I can't really help it but um, some Instagram influencers that I really like to follow, I follow Bianca Franco, bcxo.fit, and I'll leave everyone linked down below. She has really like aesthetic looking workouts and everything. I'm like looking through them on my phone right now and I'll have like a screen recording on here. She has really great workouts um, and she is like certified in personal training, I believe. And then um, I really like Nat B Fit. Um, she has really awesome workouts and everything too and she's like very realistic like she'll talk about like her downfalls and everything too um, And she has really awesome workouts. I recently discovered her and then Someone actually messaged me one of you guys messaged me and told me that I looked like Rachel Alexandra um, And that's how I found her but now I like love her page and I follow her and she is like She like really has an amazing body and she um has an awesome page as well. I really like all her workouts. And those are honestly the only fitness people I follow. But you can pretty much find anyone on YouTube. But another thing you can do if you don't know what workouts to do, literally just go to your search bar on Instagram and type in like biceps workout. And then you can look at the tags and like so many people tag it and you can find like certain fitness accounts or you can um, find like girls who like tag it and you can save it. I highly recommend like saving to a collection. Like I have all these on here and I just save it to my workouts and then I'll go and refer to them whenever I work out. One more app that I love that I recently got is Zones and this kind of like makes your Apple Watch better, I guess you could say, because it kind of shows your heart rate zones for everything you do and it automatically links it. Like you don't have to go on there and like press anything and let's like find like a regular workout for me. 
Um, so this is like a cycling class and it kind of just shows like the different phases for my heart rate and everything and kind of just analyzes it and then like for other workouts I have um, you can see this was like probably like a leg day or something and that's how my heart rate was broken down there and that's a really good app my friend Julia told me about it but I've also heard about it in videos before so that's really good to use and more essential is an Apple watch the Apple watch has changed the game for working out for me I have the series 3 42 millimeter and I have it in black and it does not have the cellular it's just a GPS version I don't use any other apps besides zones and I just use the activity thing on here to track my calories burned and everything and it's just changed the game because it motivates me so much more to work out and burn all my calories during the day for my goal but yeah I highly recommend getting an Apple watch just because it has changed the game for me for my workouts I love being able to go on here while I work out like I don't even have to like ever use my phone when I work out I can literally leave it in my bag because I can like change my song on here I can you know respond to text if I need to immediately on here um, I love using resistance bands I did forget to mention that I got some off Amazon they're just like the pe perfect peach bands I think and they're really cute and like colors and I love putting this on on leg day it just changes the game for your legs it really activates your glutes and your legs and I'll put them on when I do squats I'll put them on if I'm on like a leg press machine if I'm doing calf raises if I'm doing like deadlifts literally just throw them on and it makes everything so good and this has gotten really long so I'm gonna conclude it but I hope this inspired you guys to either get back into your fitness routine or enhance your workout routine and fitness routine or just prioritize your health and start doing it from scratch whatever it is i hope it inspired you or helped you if you have any questions leave them down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye